Enamdi Kanu is facing trial for alleged treason, terrorism, illegal possession of firearms, among other charges, in an 11 count suit that has been whittled down to three. And the Pan Igbo Cultural Pressure Group, Johannes Indigo, is far from pleased with the reasons given for Kanu's absence at the resumption of his trial. We came here because we read in the newspapers that Mars in Namde Kano has been brought back. We never saw him. And we came here today to see him. And in court, we never saw him today. The prosecution did not even make any effort to explain to us why Mars in Namde Kano is not in court. All they said is for logistic reasons. And of course, they raised an issue that since the vacation started today, the Honorable Justice Nyako should get a fear from the Chief Judge. The Igbo group stressed concern on the safety of their son. We have never seen Mazin Namdekanu. Is he dead or alive? We want to know. Where are his people? Let me tell you something. You may think a man is stupid, but if anything happens to him, those who own him will simply come out to see what happened to our son. Counsel to the defendant, Ifanya Ejofo, said his client is merely a victim of trumped-up charges by the government, a view echoed by counsel to Ohanese Indigo. Today, we suppose they were talking about amendment of charges, amendment of charge, that we have a case of murder, terrorism, kidnapping, bandit, and all what else. There's no charge before this court amended today, as I can, I can confirm no, it to you. No, no. Federal government hasn't amended any charge today. No amendment charge today before the court. We are here on pre-existing matter, charge before the court. On only three counts charged against him. So the, 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 the charge amended on cases case of murder, banditry and whatnot are on the pages of newspapers. That's why I see it. They, so they are on media trial. We say no more Abacha era trial. It was when Abacha was alive that lawyers would not have access to court, that people would now be going through esoteric trial. We say no. Those days are gone. So we hope that the prosecution will actually obey the order of court to allow Mazinam, the Kano's lawyers, to have access to him. Meanwhile, the presiding judge, Justice Bintan Yako, has ordered that the prosecution produces the defendant in court by 21st October for continuation of hearing on the matter, adding that he must also be allowed access to his lawyers. The judge also stated that she will need approval from the government to hear the matter during vacation by the Federal High Court, which commenced this Monday, 26 July. Godfrey Eshemoge, Galaxy News, Abuja.